All right, so the first data download for Global's five-year anniversary has officially dropped, and even though there's not a lot of stuff here, it's not really that exciting. It's definitely enough to get me hyped, all right? Because we are about seven hours away from the beginning of Global's five-year anniversary celebration, festivities, and there are just no words to describe how I'm feeling right now, man. There's, there's been so much anticipation, so much waiting, so much buildup, and after all that, it's finally here, guys. I mean, almost. Close enough. And of course, I will be streaming on the channel as soon as it begins at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. Like I said, about six hours, seven hours from now, depending on when you're watching this. And uh, if you guys have time, if you're free, make sure to tune in, pop in, and let's grind some of the new events that we can do on day one together. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a big party on Global, and I can't freaking wait. With that said, in today's video, we're going to check out what this data download brought into the game. And, oh, you know what? Actually, let's talk about what's missing. So we didn't get the blue fusions. All right, the blue fusions were not part of this data download, but it's okay. Don't freak out, because we know that they're coming about two days after the anniversary begins. So we should be getting a pretty sizable data download either tomorrow or the day after. I'll make sure to cover that for you guys as well, so stay tuned, but it's all good. We don't have the fusions yet, but we do have a couple of the free-to-play characters that will be obtainable on the first day as soon as, you know, the celebration begins, right? So we got the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku here, who is the login reward for this year's anniversary. He's got the five-star Dragon Ball in his hand, of course, as well as the five fingers extended for five year. And for a free-to-play unit, he's actually not bad. His leader skill is Realm of Gods Category Q plus 5. HP, attack, and defense plus 55% when team includes all five types or all five super types. So basically, you got to run a super, like, rainbow, like, all five types Realm of Gods team to get that leader skill. It's not the greatest, but okay. Super attack causes supreme damage and raises defense for five turns. And his passive is attack and defense plus 55% plus an additional attack plus 55% with five or more key spheres obtained plus an additional attack plus 55% when performing a super attack. So if you get him stacked up here with his full passive, he can actually hit pretty decently hard once again for a free to play unit. And his links are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Warrior Gods, Godly Power and prepared for battle. I believe over the course of the anniversary, so we will be getting, I think, one copy um, upon first login. One or five? I think it was one. Anyways, we'll get him during first login, and then over the course of the anniversary, through missions and stuff like that, we th I think we'll be able to get enough copies to basically get him to SA-10 and fully duped out for free, which is pretty awesome. So that is the login bonus Goku. And then we got a couple of free-to-play units from story events. So this guy, this kid Broly, as well as this kid Vegeta, are from the three Saiyans driven by fate event from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. And this kid Broly here is a pure Saiyans lead, pure Saiyans category key plus one, HP attack and defense plus 30%, super attack, supreme damage, and his passive is attack and defense plus 40%, rare chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack. Kid Vegeta right here. Uh, extreme class key plus one, HP attack and defense plus 20%, Gallic gun causes supreme damage, and then passive is attack and defense plus 50%. And I've got the Zamasu here. Actually, you know what? Let me uh, talk about his TUR form. Okay, so time travelers key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 40%, supreme damage, lowers defense, and passive attack and defense plus 40%, key plus one, with each attack received up to a key plus four, launches an additional attack that has a chance of becoming a super attack and when facing two or more enemies. All right, so. These guys seem super unimpressive, and uh, when, they, when they first launched on JP, people were like, yo, what is this? Like, why are they so bad? I mean, they're not, they're pretty bad, okay. But the reason they're bad is because both the Broly and the Vegeta both get uh, Dokkan Awakenings, I believe in part two, and also Extreme Z Awakenings within Extreme Z area. So both of them actually become really solid free to play units once they get that Awakening and Extreme Z Awakening. And then this Zamasu in part two of the anniversary will get an additional Dokkan Awakening into LR Goku Black. So this is the STR LR Goku Black from the uh, Zero Mortal plan event. And uh, he also gets an Extreme Z Awakening. So he becomes the first LR in the game to get an Extreme Z Awakening in part three of the anniversary. If you guys don't 
uh, aren't really like super up to date with like what's going on as far as like the different parts and all that stuff, make sure to check out my video fully breaking down the entire anniversary, at least as far as what we anticipate is going to come. And I can probably find a link somewhere above my head over here. So go check that out if you guys are confused. But uh, these are basically the new units that were translated, added to the game that will be available for release tonight. Once again, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And uh, we'll be grinding all these guys, getting them fully duped out, fully rainbowed. By the way, the Kid Broly and the Kid Vegeta both have farmable orbs too. So you can get them rainbowed for free. And I mean, we, we can't rainbow this guy, but we'll, I don't know, what we'll just have him. And uh, also Zamasu, we'll get him duped out, SA-10, all that good stuff, okay? Now, uh, if you go into a game right now and pop over to the Hidden Potential screen, you'll find this uh, little tutorial, I guess, about how skill orbs wor work. So basically, skill orbs are now officially activated, I guess, in the game. They were available before with the previous data download, with the previous update, but uh, now they're officially, like, implemented. So it says here, skill orbs are items that can boost a character's stats or raise a character's hidden potential level, skill level, when equipped to a character. And also, skill orbs can only be equipped to UR or LR characters, and there are different conditions for, you know, which skill orbs can be equipped. So, uh, skill orbs have slot rarities of gold, silver, and bronze. Each slot must be unlocked for each character according to its condition. And there's the gold skill orb, which can be used or equipped when two or more of a character's hidden potential routes or hidden potential paths are open. So you gotta have two or more dupes to use the gold. Um, for silver, the unit has to have a super attack level of 10 or higher. And then for bronze, they just have to be UR or higher rarity, all right? And as far as how to acquire skill orbs, there's different ways, but the first way we'll get is uh, basically tonight when the anniversary starts, we'll get that Whis training event. And you can do it daily during the anniversary to get a couple skill orbs every single day and uh, equip them to your characters. And if you look right here, your characters will have the skill orb option in their hidden potential screen, right? So we've got the bronze right here. All right, we've got the bronze skill orbs. Unfortunately, we have no skill orbs because we can't get them yet, but we can equip them once we can get them, as well as the gold here. Now, this guy is actually not SA-10, so that's why the bronze or the silver path right here is not locked. It's not unlocked, right? So, gotta get this Gohan to SA-10. But let's 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 like go to like you know one of my rainbow units. So right there, we got the LR Broly, and all three of his skill orb slots are unlocked. And once I get my skill orbs, I can equip them to him if I want to. If you guys want a full comprehensive breakdown as well as a overview of the different kinds of boosts and skill orbs in the game that are available, you can go find the video once again somewhere above my head, go check it out to make sure you guys are fully ready to take advantage of the system once it drops, okay? I mean, it's already dropped, but once we can get the skill orbs. And also, if you pop over to your main menu and click special sticker, there's a little explanation of what stickers are and how they work. So it says, you can apply an exclusive visual effect to a character by using a special sticker. Special stickers can be obtained through various ways such as missions of chain battle. Chain battle? Okay, so they mentioned chain battle. If you guys don't know what that is, is that mode on JP where you're facing an enemy and you choose like your own team as well as, as a friend supporter team. And you guys are trying to do basically as much damage as possible trying to nuke the enemy and the higher damage you do the higher your rank among other players and the better rewards you get right so um it's been speculated since the last data download since we got assets for this mode that's coming earlier to global than expected and now that it's, now that it's been mentioned you know in the game already i feel like it's more likely than even before like i was already pretty sure that was coming earlier but i feel like it's pretty likely that we're gonna get this either sometime during the anniversary or right after the anniversary because they already have all the assets ready everything's already like good to go i think so um it's just a matter of time we get this chain battle event which i'm pretty excited for it doesn't look that great to be honest it feels like um like a mini game i guess but still i'm excited for new modes and also rewards are always nice so we got chain battle which will be available in the future sometime in the future and also ultimate clash and uh, essentially you can apply these stickers to your characters. Not all of them have it, but uh, essentially, I think most of the, I think I think all UR characters in the game have stickers or have sticker effects. You take the sticker, you apply it to the character, 
and it'll give them like a nice like shiny effect essentially kind of like lr animations but not on the same level but kind of like that idea you know what i mean so like if you apply a sticker to gogeta then you'll see some like animated lines and stuff like that on his art that weren't there before and same thing with some of the other characters like uh, super saiyan 4 gogeta um vegeto blue so on and so forth some of them look really good some of them are less nice but for the most part it's just a cool visual upgrade to the card arts that's um i don't mind you know it's cool and what else oh how to apply the visual effect one tap apply special sticker from the growth menu and then tap special sticker from the team menu and then tap two special stickers on each special stickers item details page and then once you apply you will get a exclusive exclusive visual effect for that character and I believe once you apply, yeah, once you apply a sticker, you can't remove it. So let's say you don't like the effect, you're kind of screwed because you already did it and you can't remove it. Oh, same thing with the skill orbs, actually. You can't remove skill orbs. You can only, I mean, you can't unequip skill orbs. You can remove them by replacing them with another skill orb, but the one you replaced is going to get destroyed. So make sure you guys are careful with how you use your skill orbs because once it's used, it's basically like that character's skill orb and it can't be given to somebody else and what else i think that's it as far as like the in-game stuff uh did it do anything with this nope um a special secret treasure chest currently in preparation new function of baba shop coming soon stay tuned for more information so that's from the previous uh, update and essentially that's related to the chain battle stuff as well so once again guys i feel like chain battle is pretty close all right i feel like it's pretty close but as far as today's update goes for the data download, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think we got anything else as far as like in-game stuff or, you know, new characters. Obviously, like I said, the fusions were not part of it, but we should be getting that data download fairly soon in a day, day and a half, something like that before the banners drop. So uh, definitely stay tuned. And obviously we'll be getting some news, like a, like a full, you know, anniversary news thing when the anniversary officially starts so make sure you guys are there for that too but that's all i gotta say man i'll be streaming tonight 8 p.m eastern standard time stay tuned get ready get hyped i can't wait to share this moment with you guys my fellow global players those of you that have been with me for a while or for a short period of time doesn't really matter as long as you play global you know we're good to go so be there 8 p.m eastern standard time i'll see you guys very soon have an awesome day. As always, if you like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too. So that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.